Hello to all, today I have some exciting news. The new Tailwind CSS based UI component library for PrimeView Core is out. And in this video, I'd like to go through over as an, as a, to give you an overview of what we have done so far and what's coming up. And in the upcoming videos, we will go um, into more detail and uh, work with the components, try to customize them and so on. So what is this actually? It's a prime view has an unstart core. So it, the core doesn't depend on any CSS library. So we couldn't fit all these features into a single showcase, single website, primeview.org. So we have decided to take a, a different approach and try to build this Tailwind based UI components. And uh, it's available at tailwind.primeview.org. The main thing is the components are exactly the same. So, but the skin is injected through the pass-through properties feature. The pass-through feature is quite uh, exciting actually. So it allows you, for example, let's check out the calendar or maybe checkbox. So if you go to the pass-through tab, the component internal, inter, uh, internal um, elements are exposed through uh, the pass-through API. It allows you to, for example, the checkbox has the outer rim, the icon and so on. So every, every DOM element is accessible with the pass through feature so that you can add elements or so, so you, so, sorry, you can add properties and, and classes and style and area attributes, anything you like to these elements. So since class and style are um, very special, uh, you will be able to inject your Tailwind classes which means you can style them with Tailwind. As I mentioned, we had some demos, but it, they were like some hidden somewhere. So we built this Tailwind based CSS library in three weeks, actually. So this is quite, uh, the whole thing is quite easy and customizable for us to do because we don't write components, we write skins. So each skin is called a preset and the preset is basically a JavaScript object. It's a pass-through configuration. I will show you one. And let's see what we have here on the main website. The multiple presets feature is quite nice so that you can switch presets. A preset is more like maybe if you skin uh, all of the suite, it will give you a design system. And, but a preset may be for a single component as well. Because in the preset gallery, I created like six examples for you. It's not like the whole lip, just one. So a preset is more like a skin for... Um, uh, the pass-through object for, for a component. So the idea is that you can also switch uh, presets. For example, this one is the wind. I can switch to Lara and more presets are coming up. There are some plans to do a material uh, design based preset. And if you like some of the nice UIs that you see, we can implement them as pre presets. Uh, which means PrimeView is now an, like an SDK or an API to develop your own UI library. Actually, it's funny, but we can also develop the other libraries, the other well-known libraries in the ecosystem with PrimeView because they usually depend on a CSS library like Tailwind, Bootstrap, Material. So we can just provide them a preset for them in, since PrimeView has a lot of functionality. I mean... Uh, I really, really expect the community to pick this up and build their own UI libraries based on a prime view. So there's a color palette, of course, from Tailwind and light darks, which is kind of different because there are various dark modes and various light modes and it's powered by prime view unstyled core. All right, let's begin. So to get started, there will be a separate tutorial, but it's the main thing here is that you need prime view. To begin with, of course, it's because the um, it's based on PrimeView unstyled core, so you need to set uh, PrimeView in unstyled mode. And once you have a regular Tailwind configuration, there's no special configuration required except that uh, you need to add the content scanner of Tailwind uh, to make sure that Tailwind also scans PrimeView stuff in the node modules. Otherwise, it will remove some of the classes because you know Tailwind uses a just-in-time compiler it adds the classes on demand and so on so there's every preset has a couple of CSS variables in the in, in this case just primary shades and surface and so on so I'm not go through the details of the documentation because we have a separate videos coming up for it but let's check out the current lineup currently we have more than 30 components but um, 
every Wednesday we will do a new release and there will be new components. For example, let's check out the input switch. It looks like a regular input switch, but it's basically a talent input switch. And if you check out, for example, drop down, so we have the same Lara. It's quite nice because we can also implement these animations with talent. So here we have um, the drop down. For example, if we check out here, we can switch to the wind preset. And now the talent classes, a different set of classes are applied. And we can see that here. So here's the Lara preset for drop down. For example, it has the different hover states and so on. And here is the wind version. It has some, it has a condensed mode that uses a different highlight and so on. Um, you have full code. You have access to the full code here uh, because this is how it's used. You have to copy and paste these presets um, and then add them to your project, which means, so that's the biggest thing. Uh, that's the biggest uh, decision that we made. Um, if we put these all these presets to an NPM package, we, we could have done that. Of course, NPM publishes free. I mean, we could have done that, but then how are you going to customize the background colors, hover states, everything? How are you going to do the styling? If you just pick them up from node modules, it will be a JavaScript import file. And then it will be like CSS, trying to CSS overwrite with some classes and you, you are trying, you will add importance and so on. It's still possible, but um, the, the approach we are suggesting is that copy paste, these releases are available on GitHub, and then you just get these uh, files extracted to your project and start using. Since the folder is in the same uh, application folder that you are using, uh, you can just switch, change everything. For because we have decided this based on user feedback. In the past, we were just uh, we published the tailwind preset to npm, and then many users are having problems with trying to customize for even a simple like how I can customize how can I customize the background of an input to a different color now you have access to everything here because it's in your source actually it's the it's actually a part of your application source it's not something that you import from uh, as a module and another cool thing here is that let's check out for example um, checkbox now it's a you see that it's it's quite small the um, let's check out one, for example, tab view could be nice. So as I mentioned, there are multiple dark modes and multiple light modes. So here, um, the light mode is not quite visible because the whole the surface layer is white. But for example, there's a small tone change, as you can see. Um, and if we, we can check out the primary colors as well quite easily, it's based on CSS variables. So it's, it's dynamically possible. Let's go to the dark mode. And there are a couple of dark modes, as I mentioned. For example, each dark mode can have their own uh, set of colors for the dark mode, maybe a fully black one or maybe some with the bluish colors and so on, which I like this one, so I will keep this. So um, how, we, how this is done, actually, this is thanks to, uh, if you check out, for example, maybe there will be a preset here. Here we have um, dark border primary. This is a tailwind extension. Plus, there's another ex extension called surface. So we add these extensions to our tailwind extended colors. And with JavaScript, we, once we switch these colors, everything changes. These colors are semantic and the tail and extended colors are used by the presets. So the checkbox doesn't use background white or something. It uses surface zero, surface uh, 500 and primary. So that once you can switch them as a CSS variable, uh, you're good to go. Um, the next thing is the builder. Uh, builder is a small tool to help you uh, build your own presets so that you can choose, for example, I want drop down calendar and you type the preset name, my preset, because releases are on GitHub and it, the zip file contains everything. Now you can just download and put it to your project. It's simple in case you don't want to use everything. And the preset gallery is something that I was really excited about, um, that I, I worked on that and implemented myself. So the gallery is like, uh, instead of 
So it's idea is to make a community driven a gallery like uh, it's like a code pen as well for and uh, it's not for the whole library but if you have an idea like I had a couple like how to implement a material input switch how to use a material snack bar material input field with float labels a gloss morphic for example let's see if this will work a gloss morphic version and maybe Shatsian like dialogue if you like that style and how to implement that that goes this goes beyond what you with an Pro, uh, component library provides you. You are freestyle. You are just unleashed to do whatever you are you like to do. Uh, and the tailwind is your key and your tool and powered by uh, Prime View Core. So uh, more items are planned for gallery and you can also uh, create your own um, gallery item and submit to us and we will just provide it and we display the GitHub username, the stars and to kickstart things, I, at the weekend I just created six examples. Some of our team members will also provide one. And so this is, gives you an idea because, for example, if you check out the material input switch, uh, it goes beyond what the Prime View Core can provide. You can even customize, you can even add attributes that does not uh, happen, uh, that doesn't exist on the components. For example, uh, the material input switch, the material toggle, doesn't have an accent um, accent mode in Prime View Core, but with, with with all this pass through stuff, I was able to extend the components and edit an accent mode as well. So here you can see I have a glass morphic UI uh, implemented with Prime View and unstyled. Uh, it's quite nice. And this is a material toggle that I've done. So this is a primary, and this is X. As you can see, the component is same. So you use input switch. Your application code doesn't change. That's the magic. So you just inject your styles uh, through an API. And the cool thing part, the cool part is that the, there was an accent here that was not available. Uh, this type equals the accent doesn't exist. So I just added it. Okay, um, so the tail, to summarize, the Tailwind's uh, website is out. Every Wednesday, we will provide a new release and stay tuned. Next version will bring the mighty data table. Uh, the good part, as I mentioned, we, we are not writing a data table for this. We are just providing a skin. So it will be quite best. The whole thing was done in three weeks. So by the end of maybe after the holidays in by mid-January before the conference session begins, uh, because we are going to present these in the conferences, uh, we, are pro we are planning to provide everything and with two presets, at least with the Wind and the Lara to give you an idea. But as I mentioned, this is a tool to build your own. You can use it like this, but the idea is that you have the full code, you change whatever you like, you change the pieces. The presets are here to give you a, a head start. Okay, uh, in the next stream of tutorials, we will go through how we will go to, we will discuss some codes, how to uh, build your own presets, how to customize the components, how to be use the builder and how to create a gallery item and so on. There's so much things to discuss. And uh, in the meantime, Prime View and other libraries are going strong with new modes. So this was just a milestone and more stuff are coming ahead. And 2024 will be quite exciting for Prime users. Always bet on Prime and uh, stay tuned. Thank you.